Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a hot minute since I posted and I'm so sorry for that, but I'm gonna start trying to post more regularly about once a week starting today. Which brings us to today's video and it's a full day of eating. I get asked all the time, what do you eat? How often do you eat? How much do you eat? What should I eat? And so on. So I figured this video would help address most of those questions. And if you have any further questions, comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, comment that below. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, we have meal number one, which is probably my favorite meal of the day. It's two of the Kodiak Cakes buttermilk and vanilla power waffles topped with the Ready Whip fat-free whipped cream. It's only five calories for two tablespoons, so it's awesome. Then I have about half a tablespoon of the Nuts and More high-protein peanut butter birthday cake flavor. And then the sugar-free uh, Maple Grove Farms syrup, which is my favorite sugar-free syrup I've found. And then I will also be eating the Dannon Light and Fit. If I can get the focus. Struggle, guys. The Dannon Light and Fit Greek Yogurt in Key Lime. This is my favorite flavor ever. So I just got done picking up dog poop and I mowed the lawn, you know, living my best life. So I'm gonna have a little midday snack. It's Power Crunch Bar in chocolate mint. These are delicious, especially if you freeze them on a hot day, which mine is frozen and I can't wait to eat it. I just finished my Power Crunch Bar and I forgot to show my favorite non-caffeinated Starbucks drink. It's a Trenta because it's like 25 cents more, so why not? Anyway, a Trenta iced passion tea made with coconut milk except for I don't think they made it with coconut milk. I think they just added a splash to it. So usually it's a lot brighter of a pink, but still delicious and less calories. So, hey, there we go. Anyway, what I do is I order a Trenta iced passion tea made with coconut milk, no classic, with three stevia. And this is amazing. It tastes like melted strawberry, melted strawberry ice cream. Apparently I need caffeine because I can't talk today. So, yeah, give it a try. All right. So for my next meal, it's a breakfast burrito. It's delicious and everything you need in life, but I guess today it's technically a lunch burrito. And there's one organic egg in it, half a cup of egg whites, about two teaspoons of reduced fat sour cream, quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, a heaping tablespoon of pico de gallo, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic seasoning, and I used a Tortilla Land Tortilla. These, seriously guys, if you haven't tried them, you have to, they will change your life. So skip the already cooked tortillas and use these. So yeah, that's this meal. Next midday snack is a Ready Nutrition Protein Water, 15 grams of protein, and then I'm gonna have one caramel rice cake. All right, this is my low carb spaghetti. It has ground turkey, spaghetti squash, which I put it in the microwave for three minutes to soften it, and then I cut it in half and put it back in the microwave for another three minutes. I have a half cup of Classico roasted garlic pasta sauce, a little less than a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, and then you just throw it all together and enjoy. Look at that, yes. Mm. All right, guys, this is my last meal of the day. Sorry that I have to whisper. Everyone else in the house is sleeping, so I don't want to wake them up. But this is Mushu. It is a coleslaw mix, which is cabbage and carrots. It has green onions, garlic, ginger, and Asian sauce, and then is topped with chicken, and it's absolutely amazing. I will definitely be making a video later on on how to make this. Um, I also forgot to mention that Mushu is extremely low carb. I mean, there's no grains or anything in it just the cabbage with chicken or coleslaw mix with chicken so it's great if you're trying to cut or doing some kind of ketogenic diet or whatever but you can serve it on tortillas if you need yourself some cups yeah I need gut bed <laughs> This is my last snack of the day. It's Enlightened Cookies and Cream Ice Cream. It is very similar to Halo Top, but way better. As you can see, I mean, look at that. That looks like legit cookies and cream ice cream. So I'm gonna have one serving of that. 
All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. And yeah, I guess see you next time. Bye.